Hey, this is Shovelhead Fedge out in the not so famous Shovelhead Shed. And today it's an update on the uh, 2004 Deuce. A lot of the astute viewers have asked me what's going on with the Deuce, what's going on with the uh, soft tail. In order to be in the Harley Davidson Club, there's really four ways of getting into the club. One is to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars. The other way is through time, meaning that you buy a basket case. Uh, another way is to have somebody pass a, a Harley Davidson down to you. And the other way is through theft, is, is you steal one. Um, not so big on the stealing. A viewer of mine, who's actually a friend of mine, but he's also a viewer, um, he's been out of the, uh, the motorcycle business for probably 20, 30 years. And uh, he contacted me and said, hey, man, I seen the video on that on that deuce. Is it for sale? And uh, I've been wanting him to get into bikes for a long time. So we kind of struck up a deal and uh, he bought the bike. Uh, he's a he's a great mechanic. He's a great fabricator. Um, he can do anything. Uh, he's just one of those guys that can can seem to do anything from fix a toaster to build houses and does fantastic woodwork. And he, he's. Good morning, jerk. Um, anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, Roscoe P. Coltrane, the Red Rooster, the terror of our property, probably the most vicious animal that I have out here. Anyway, um, he, we struck a deal and he said, yeah, man, uh, I went through the problems, discussed the motorcycle with him of what I think is wrong with it. Um, and, uh, and so, he was willing to take on the task and this video is a video of what he's doing to it and uh, there'll be more videos to come um, at the end of the video I'll kind of do my wrap up of, of what I think I want to warn you that the uh, the video is shot on a GoPro I despise the GoPro I hate everything there is about a GoPro I know there's a lot of motorcycle vloggers out there that love them I hate the audio I hate I hate everything about a, about the GoPro, uh, but the reason why it was basically shot on a GoPro is because uh, I, I don't want to risk thousands of dollars worth of uh, camera equipment bouncing around in the on the back of a motorcycle. So the audio sucks, um, but it is what it is. It's the GoPro audio. And I'll try to fix everything I can as much as I can in post. But anyway, on with the video and. Uh, like I said, I'll get my wrap up at the end of it. There you go. Oh, let's go this way today. Go that way. Videos that way. All right, man. Thanks.
this whole thing, but uh, I put the oil back in the tank and then got the oil out of the sump and then started up and ran real good until the oil pressure light came on. So, do you think the guy that sold you the bike bought you? What year is this? Original motor? No, it's dead. It's dead. It's been upgrades through the years. Now it's strapped with a 454. A 454. Look at the hula girl. So, tell me what happened. Balancer chain come apart. This is parts that I found in this area. Actually, when you get the pump out, I don't know if there'll be any more in there or not. Do you think you can fix it? Looks like you got it all out. Do you think you can fix it? Well, I can take it apart. That's where you look at the camera and go, I know I can fix it. Mm. Yeah, sure. It can be fixed. It can be fixed. It's going to have to be torn down. The well, tank's going to have to be taken out and cleaned. What would you say to all those people that said, Oh, dude, it's just sumped. So you better look a little further. <laughs> Drain the oil and see what comes out. There's a lot of metal. And not all of it was uh, steel. Some of it was aluminum. Oh. There's, a, there's the pump. And that was the scavenger side. Is that chunk supposed to be missing right that, there? That chunk is not uh, supposed to be missing. That's supposed to be there, and that crack is not supposed to be there. And so that pump's toast. And uh, you know, but, but you're still happy with the purchase? Oh, yeah. Just oh, not yeah. happy with the guy that sold it to you? <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is what I always wanted was a, was a project, you know, something that I can uh, just work on, just look at every night and, and work on it every night. And eventually ride it one day. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that would be a perk. That would be one. <laughs> now, be you're, a, you're, a, you're a home builder, a diesel mechanic, a truck mechanic, a fisherman, a ballroom dancer, ex-stripper, and what else? <laughs> oh, uh, lumberjack too. Oh, that's right, the lumberjack. Yeah, a railroad engineer. That's right, you did railroad engineering. Holy macaroni! Now, what do you say he's got to do to it? So it's, everything's got to be stripped off the bike. Tanks got to be cleaned out. Oil tanks got to be cleaned out. Um, Heads, jugs, all got to come off, you know, the motor's got to come out of the bike, it's got to be split, everything cleaned up inside, we know at least the balancer chain has to be replaced. We'll have to check out see where the damage is done, if any. put it back together. Two year project. You mean two weeks?
And so there you go. Um, that is the uh, story of the deuce and where it's at and what's going on with it. Um, there's a lot of negative Nancys out there in YouTube land. And before you even go, oh man, he ripped them off and all that stuff. The reality is, and I'm not going to go into details of the deal that I made, but one of the stipulations of the deal is that any time that he feels that it's too big, too much, it's it's uh, he, he's over his head or if... Uh, uh, it's more than what he wants to do be more than happy to take it back and uh, He risks nothing except his time. I'm able to take a friend a viewer put him on a bike for Relatively inexpensive comparative to what it would cost to uh, to, to own a Harley Davidson uh, You just gotta not be afraid to work on it. Like I said before man. It's already broken <laughs> You know tear into it. See what you can do. You might be able to fix it You know you might not Generally, as long as there's no pistons sticking out of the side of a motor, you're pretty good to go. You can figure it out. YouTube, repair manuals, and stuff like that. I just want to encourage you, if you find a bike, don't be afraid. Even if you didn't hear it run or anything, yeah, there's going to be problems with it. Um, or you can spend $30,000 and get a brand new bike. Anyway, also, I did warn you about the audio. I, I'm not set up for GoPro. I don't like GoPro. And the audio sucks. I know it, so I appreciate you at least uh, bearing with me through the, through the bad audio. Thanks for watching the video. And like always, like, share, and subscribe. I do have a Patreon page. If you find any uh, anything of value, I appreciate if you would uh, check out my page. Help me to support. Help to support my channel. Um, it it costs a lot of money, a lot of time. And you know, these videos, yeah, I make $5, maybe $10, you know, um, but it is a full-time job. Uh, somebody did mention in the comments, uh, I'm not going to call out your name, man, but no, I'm not a retired doctor. That was probably one of the, I don't know if that was a compliment or a cut down, but anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending the time. You can be doing something else, watching somebody else. Appreciate you watching my videos, man. Have an awesome day. Peace. See you guys later.